Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. So obviously now it is 2022 and I think I wanna react to the video I made last year of what I wanna see in The Sims in 2021. Oh my God, this is when I had my old intro, stop. And then I have one thing overall that I would really, really like to okay, see. Okay, editing so with the it, text. So let's oh, also I have not watched this video. I thought about pre-watching it so that I could pre-plan things to say, but I felt it would be just good if we have my genuine reaction. One thing that I would love, love, love to see in the game is spiral staircases. We talk. Yeah, no, we don't have spiral staircases. Painted ceilings? We no. Okay, so that's that's two for two, two for two, or O for two. We did not get either of those things. I would also love the opportunity for vaulted ceilings. Still no. Literally O for three? No, how that would work with it. I do feel like vaulted ceilings is a big ask for this game, though. Another thing I was thinking about is round pools. Like, consider having round pools. I did consider it, and I consider that we still don't have it. Okay, so literally O for four. Also, I want to say that it's not necessarily a bad thing that nothing that I personally wanted to see from The Sims 4 in 2021 was put into the game. I just like look back and I'm like, did I really think that that was gonna happen? Bunk beds would be nice for building. Bunk beds would be nice for gameplay. Hundred baby challenge. I love the hundred baby challenge. I would love bunk beds. I think that would make things really useful. It would make space really efficient, especially starting out. We did get bunk beds. We did get bunk beds. We actually got bunk beds shortly after this. This was February fourth. That I would love to see in this game. Um, since I've gotten the game, is matching wood swatches. Wait, okay. So that's what. That was what the six. We're two for six. We're one third of my things that I wanted have been put in the game. Matching wood swatches. Like, I will actually put that as like a 0.5 because we did get the big swatch update, but that didn't mean every single wood item in the game had all the same swatches. So like, that's why I give it a half point. Think about if you were a game developer and you were making furniture for your game and you had swatches of those furniture, you know, whatever. I do still hold this opinion though. Like, why would you purposely not make the wood swatches match? And it's not like they purposely made it not match. It's just that they chose to keep making different wood swatches. And I don't think that was the smartest move. I would like to see less mistakes misogyny from this game. Okay, so what I was talking about here, I was talking about if you have a man and a woman sim that are married, for me, it always changes the wife's last name to the husband's. However, I think someone said this was a glitch with MC Command Center. I actually never had that confirmed, but it's still really annoying. Like, why is that a glitch with MC Command Center then? It's not something that bothers me as much now because I just change everybody's last name to the wife's last name. I want my unbreakable toilet back. Oh my God, my unbreakable toilet. My queen, the sweet escapes country toilet. They have not brought her back. I still don't know why. I don't know why they made her reliability three. Like to this day, it is not back. And why is it 1800 simoleons when the reliability is three? Like you couldn't even make it eight or something. This is something that bothers me so much. It's just so little, but it bothers me so much. They said it in the patch notes that kids could learn adult skill. So what I was mad about here is that I didn't think it was working for me, but it was not clarified that the children have to be level 10 of all childhood skills before they start learning adult skills. Oh, I've already lost track of like things I wanted and things that we didn't get. Sorry. Okay, now we're going into the big things, like the packs and stuff that I wanted that to I see. Would, like open neighborhoods with just besties did not get that. I'm so sorry. I still feel strongly that open neighborhoods would be really nice in this game. Open world will never happen in this game. If you are a sim who has moved out of your parents' house, like you are the parent's child, you go back and you try to eat their food or sleep in your own bed, the parents are like, you have to leave. Okay, what I was talking about here is how if your sim's child moves out and the child comes back and tries to like sleep in the bed or eat their food, like the adult sims, the parent sims get really annoyed. I actually don't know if they fixed this because I haven't been in this situation in a while, but that was something that was really annoying in the game. I don't know if that's fixed though. I would love to see hotels. We didn't get hotels. I will probably do a separate video on stuff I want to see in 2022 and just like my general thoughts, but I would still really like Zach to see hotels. Cody, get out of my lobby. There's been a lot of speculation is farming. Okay, bestie, I see you. So we obviously got cottage living and yeah, I mean, yes, we got that. I, thought I would kind of like to see that energy being put towards maybe bringing a non-American world. I'm glad that they went more of like English country side with cottage living rather than like American Midwest farming kind of vibe. But I do think we need more non-American or, you know, European worlds in this game. How are farm animals going to look in that art style? They look great. To be honest, they are so adorable and I love them and I'm so glad that they don't look bad. Generations in The Sims 4. I like could tear up. Yeah, we need generations and I think I will talk about this more in my video of what I want to see in 2022. But now that they've introduced pack refreshes, a parenthood refresh to be like, like generations would be really good. I still think a full-fledged generations pack would absolutely do so well. I would love something that would differentiate young adult and adult more. They literally look the exact same. They wear the exact same clothes. 
I forgot I said this. This is so true though. We really haven't got anything that like really more differentiates young adult and adult. Now I'm getting ideas for my 2022 video. Schools pack. I need to have the option to also just like send my sims to school and not pay attention to them. Yeah, I think schools would be fun. I've not been playing as much of the 100 baby challenge. That's my one goal for 2022. Bring back the 100 baby challenge. Maybe it's good I'm reacting this. Now that I've done some non 100 baby challenge gameplay, I'm actually like, yeah, I think a school pack would be really fun. Stop, an Ikea club? I can't even. No, I still can't even. That would be so smart. I, I would live for that. I think any kind of like brand collaboration, things I want to see from The Sims, obviously is like kind of implied to be wishful thinking. Like a lot goes into brand collabs. So am I upset we didn't get an Ikea pack? No. Did I really think it was going to happen? Also no. What hot takes did I have? Oh no. I don't want better babies. I do think I would enjoy some aspects on if they improve babies. Like I would like to be able to take the child out of the crib and like set the child on the floor. I'd like to be able to go on a walk with a stroller. But I was deep into the 100 baby challenge at this point, everybody. I did not want anything to make that harder. Same thought process with preteens. Yeah. So I was also saying that I wasn't really a fan of the idea of preteens. Also with the context of being a 100 baby challenge player. Now that I have been playing the not so berry challenge and I played a lot of the build new crest legacy challenge that is not as focused around kids getting a certain amount of skills in a certain amount of time, I really would love a preteen stage. I think that would be so useful in the game or at least just like some updates around how kids and teens work because your kid literally goes from like being nine or ten years old to like being 16 or 17 and there very clearly is a stage in between that that they're missing in the game i don't want cars i don't care for cars in the sims 4 i still don't care for cars just because the world is not open like i think it would be nice if a car pulled up your sims got in it and then your sim left but like that's why they're not a priority for me because it's not going to change how the game functions if they made the entire world open world it would make a lot more sense i more than anything just want more diversity in the game I, they've kind of improved that like they've been adding better hairs to the game but they've also been taking them from other packs to put them in the base game that i absolutely hate i hate that just make another hair i think there's so much more to be done in terms of diversity in this game and i'm really scared they're gonna do that through kits they're gonna put it behind a paywall right obviously i'll save a lot of this for my what i want to see in 2022 video but that's mainly my thoughts heights but like that's last on my list of representation heights would be really nice obviously not as important as like other diversity representation we're never getting heights, but it would be so cool. Another thing I'd like is for the glitches in the game to go away. I would like them to be removed, please. Yeah, we still have glitches in the game. We're always gonna have glitches in the game. It seems like maybe the ones I was talking about in this video, maybe they're gone now, but we always have new glitches. Simulation lag is still not figured out. I don't really blame anyone for that because it truly seems like the Sims team doesn't know why that happens anyway. But also I'm like, figure it out, figure it out, please. Yeah, so what I was saying is that every update will add something cool, but break the game even more. And that is still how it feels going into 2022. Like the cottage living update, didn't that break a ton of stuff? The last thing that I'd really, really like to see from The Sims in 2021 is transparency. Yeah. I mean, I think they have done a lot better with transparency this year with The Sims 411 live streams. Is that what it is? Or like Inside Maxis? Like they've been doing better with that. However, I do feel like it's been crickets for a little bit now, like since a couple of those updates in December, obviously I guess because of the holidays. I also feel like though they haven't been transparent at all about packs or anything like that. Like they've been like, here are the kits. You can expect three kits this fall, but nothing about packs. The kit production supposedly does not interfere with the production of packs. I'm sorry. I don't believe that, but I just think I can't wrap my brain around how in the world that it could not interfere in any way. But overall, they've been pretty, pretty good with certain things and just not good with other things, I guess. So that's all I said in that video. My main thoughts, obviously I reacted to them. I might go back and take a tally of how many things actually were in the game and how many things I requested in the game and put that right up here. So that's really interesting. I do carry a lot of these same thoughts now. Some of my thoughts have shifted. My one thing I want to say for 2021 though is that I did not expect anything like the kits to come to the game. I don't know. I mean, that was just really wow. Or the Sims Delivery Express. I mean, I think that's a good idea, but they're always adding stuff here and there to the base game. So like the fact that they're doing it in a smaller, quicker, more fun, cute way is kind of fun. My thoughts on this past year of the Sims are like mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings because we did only get three packs and then we got so many kits. Obviously we are in a panini and I don't fault anyone for not being able to do as much work as pre-Panini. I just recognize that in the past, we've usually gotten two expansions, one, two game packs, and like two or three stuff packs. And when you only get one of each in a whole year, but a bunch of these little bite-sized content that is overpriced, it's kind of hard not to be like, oh, it literally did interfere with the production of the other packs. And again, I don't work for EA. I don't know what they do. They could have a totally separate team working on the kit. But then my question is, if they do, what do the teams that normally work on the packs, what are they doing? I don't 
don't know. Obviously, I am glad that the packs that we did get were very good. I just posted a pack ranking video if you want to go watch that, but I think Paranormal is one of my favorite stuff packs. Cottage Living is one of my favorite expansions. Dream Home Decorator, because I am a builder, is one of my favorite yeah. game packs. All three packs that came out last year are at the top of my list of best packs. So, like, that's good. Oh, I also wanted to say that, like, the refresh to Spa Day was incredible as well. I didn't really expect that they would do something like that, but I'm glad that they did. But I think that's it in terms of my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on how The Sims went in 2021. And if you have any, like, hopes or ideas or anything for 2022, let me know because maybe I'll feature them in the video that I do about what I want to see in 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, the next one will be a build challenge. And if you want to see more Sims content, you can subscribe to this channel and my stream re-uploads channel right up here. You can watch another one of my videos right down here. As always, you can follow me on Twitch and TikTok. Both of those are linked down below. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!